Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, I am taping this the next day. I told y'all I was gonna tape this yesterday when I did that haul. <laughs> I got tired. Every, waiting for it to upload and everything. So I got tired. But anyway, this video is I, I told y'all I was gonna come back and tell y'all my most my five most favorite thrift stores and my five worst least favorite, let's call it least favorite thrift stores. Not bashing any, it's just my opinion doing this the last five and a half years in the DFW. This is for Dallas, Fort Worth area is the only, you know, I'm just, and all of the stores are not being mentioned. Like everyone is just some of my favorites and some of my worst, least favorites. And I'm going to try to explain why. And then I want to talk to y'all about the, the uh, sales tags. Uh, you know, the color tags that I'll always talk about how to watch them. Um, okay. But I'm going to show y'all thrift giant, I can't even spell y'all. <laughs> okay. I'm going to show y'all Thrift Giants tags, how it looks, and then I'm going to show you and how I follow through. And then I'm, and this you can kind of apply to your own stores. Just watch the sales and you will see how this works. There's nothing they tell you. They will not tell you this. I figured it out and I'm going to tell y'all. Okay. So, the, my, I'm going to start. I'm going to get this started because I don't want it to be a long video. My five most favorite, and I'll tell you the reasons why. Thrift Giant, hands down. Now, do they have the most pleasant employees? Probably not. <laughs> Some, excellent, excellent. Some is shaky, depending on where you go. Some shaky. Some don't like the fact that you may get a nice deal. Like, they don't like that. Some of them. But some of them are like, wow, you, you know, that was a good deal. You know, when they're ringing you up, like, some of them get mad okay so but thrift giant hands down and i'm going to talk a little bit about their sale tag i know i drew this i didn't want to get a copyright all right i know can you see that i know it's bad it's bad i'm not an artist never claimed it okay now with this i'll start with this all tags but as you're going to see uh, in the beginning all the tag sales there will be a um a uh regular price It'll be two, three, maybe sometimes even four tags, depending on what's going on. Because, like, around the holidays, they'll have an R. You only see the R, and that just means everything's going to be regular price. Or it'll be red. Every, it's, not, it's not included in the sale. Okay, and that's normally their, like, their, right now, their Halloween and Christmas is all marked with R's, for the most part. Um, because they don't put them in their sales. Unless it's a regular, everything's 50% off. Which they have at least once or twice a month at Thrift Giant. Okay, then you'll see... One or two tags in the 25% category, depending on what day it is. And that's normally only one or two days. Because you'll see one tag in the 50% off, but over the weekends, it's two tags in the 50% off. Now, in those, from those two tags, one of them is going to be $0.99 cent on that Monday. The other one will be $0.99 cent on Wednesday. You follow me? Now, I'm going to go real fast with this. Everything's regular price. Then something turns into 25% and you have a 50%, right? That's how they started it off. By, sa by Friday, Saturday, I think it is when they change it. Saturday and Sunday, you're going to have two tags that's 50% off. Now, I'm going to call them white and blue, right? If white was here first, so this is, comes in handy when you go frequent. If white was here from last week for, on the 25% off first, That'll be the 99 cent tag on Monday. Then blue, something else from the 25% will join into the 50%, right? But blue will be the 99 cent on Wednesday. You see? I know, it's very confusing, but here's the thing, guys. Watch the tags. Most stores, most thrift stores around have color tags now. Most of them do. And I don't even mean in Texas. I mean everywhere. Everywhere I've been. People deal with the color tags. Goodwill does, and Goodwill's not the best with sales. Here, not the best. Only thing you get sales on is like shoe. I mean, um, not even shoes. I don't. Do they add the shoes? No. I think it's just like clothes. That's it. Housewares never. Not even on their fifty percent off days. Housewares is not included. What? Why? Anyway, as much stuff as they get, you would think they would want to move it faster, and that's Thrift Giant's idea. Get it out because they get a lot of donations. Now, Thrift Giant. I'm not going to speak of what they donate to. I don't know the truth of it all. I've heard several things, but it's hush-hush. Now I know I know they're doing the um, 
I do know this for sure because they took over three or four of those stores. The, um, y'all, y'all know what it is. It's like the community outreach in DFW area. And I know they had one in Carlton, uh, Carlton, Carlton, Carlton. What's the name of it, y'all? I know it. And it just won't come in my mind. Well, they help out with, um, they help with, um, Sorry, they help. I wanted to get that down before I write it. They help with like homeless people that are homeless, helping them get food and clothes and shelter and helping with jobs. People get jobs. And I can't think of the name of it, y'all. It is, um, used to be the resale. They, they was under the resale shop. Anyway, if I think of it, I'll tell y'all. But anyway, they do, they do, now they do that. Now, I don't know about all their other old stores. I don't know if they're for profit. I know at one point they said that they were so, some kind of a, um, like a community outreach. I don't know what they did. I'm not even going to, but, but I'll tell you what, they move their stuff. So if you're interested in a sale, Thrift Giant is the way to go. You're always, they mark their stuff high a lot of the time. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes it starts out when it's in a regular price, like you have lost your mind, right? But eventually as the sale goes on and you catch it, the, say, the things on that day, you will get stuff dirt cheap. Dirt cheap, not store dirt cheap. That's dirt expensive. But anyway, Thrift Giant is my number one store. And Thrift Giant has nine locations in the DFW. If you Google it, you'll find them all over the place. They have Louisville, the Colony. Um, they have two in Louisville. Yeah, two in Louisville, one in the Colony. They have one, two in Dallas over on Harry Hines and Northwest Highway, and then one over in East Dallas. They have one in Denton. They have one in a, like two in Irving. They have nine locations in this area. Okay, so if you guys are interested, learn those sales, and I'm telling you, you will clean up. That's how I clean up with Thrift Giant a lot. Okay, my second one is new to the, to the game. Um, maybe been around a couple years, but they're starting to re, you know, restructure and they're buying more stores. So they now have three locations out, um, you know, in the DFW, they have one in, um, Prosper that's not really connected much. Cause I think that's like a boutique. So they really aren't kind of included in that sale. I don't hear much about that. They kind of are, the managers kind of run the show the way they want to, but they kind of try to bounce off each other. So Grace Bridge their sales run like this. You'll see a sign in there like this, right? And they have the regular price items, normally one, maybe two. They got added another one, I noticed recently. Salmon, I think they added. Then you'll see 25 off, 50 off, and 99 cent. Well, here's the thing with Grace Bridge, y'all. 99 cent now is every day. Every day, something is 99 cent. They have, you got to sign up with their um, app, the little app, the Five Stars app, and sign up through them. You will constantly get coupons, constantly. Like I have right now for seven days, anytime I go in there, I could use my 50% off anything in the store, whatever, my entire purchase. I just got that one yesterday. So you go in, the more, the more you frequent them, the more coupons you will get. You, and also you will get, uh, for a certain amount of points, I think up to a hundred points, you get $5 off of anything. And, and every dollar is a point. And it's easy to get to it. You know what I mean? And then, um, no, it's $50. $50 is $5 off. $10, $100 is $10 off, right? Um, I want to say $200 is $200. I mean, it's $20 off. Yes. And that's not even included in the, every now and then you get a coupon. They always have furniture, giant pieces of furniture. Say you want a dresser a whole bed, and uh, a, a chest of drawers. Sometimes they have furniture, three, four hundred dollars so, And most days, furniture is 50% off for the most part. Y'all, I'm going to tell you, I love this place. You can go here and get, if you watch and watch, and sometimes they could be priced a little off too, but once the sales start kicking in, it dramatically drops, drops the price. It's good for people who really can't afford to go out and buy furniture and you're new to the area. Um, they have nice pieces in there. When I tell you nice, like you could furnish an apartment or a house from there. It's really nice. I love Grace Bridge. And actually, guys, 
if any of you guys are YouTube per, um, creators here in the DFW that's doing basically like thrifting and, you know, things like that, if you thrift a lot um, and you have followers, I'm going to be doing a meetup at the Grace Bridge in Plano. And I'm going to give you their locations. They have one in Plano on Park and K. They have one in Frisco on Ohio Drive and can't remember the side. I never press correct. I forget the name of the street, but it's on Ohio right across from that Goodwill. And they have one in Prosper, and I'm not sure that location because I've never been down there. But um, it's they do have the three, so you can Google them and get the addresses. But I'm going to be doing that meetup, and I, what I wanted to do was invite some other YouTube creators to invite you, you, you know, um, you guys subscribers out for that day. And it's going to be a 50% off of everything in the store because they're having their grand reopening. They opened on Monday. They reopened on Tuesday, I think. They reopened on Tuesday of this week. It's open. You're more than welcome to go there right now, but they're going to be having the grand reopening at Park and K roughly mid-November. I don't have an exact date. She said possibly the 16th. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to invite everybody, all of my subscribers and anybody in the DFW that wants to come out, learn more. She's going to be talking about the recycling, um, uh, reusing, donating, um, how you help, you know, how it helps the environment. They are big on the environment. They're big on um, doing work over in Africa. I mean, this place is, you want to talk about doing some work for the community and for the world. Not only just DFW, but they're all out. Their outreach is everywhere. So I love Grace Bridge. Um, so anyway, they, um, they're they good. And um, now also, anybody who donates uh, three bags of clothing, three bags from next Monday, this Monday coming. So what's that? The seventh, the seventh till that Saturday, because they're not open on Sundays. You will get a 50% off coupon. Anything in the store, I meant your entire purchase, anything for um, the following week, excluding that Monday. So it starts from that Tuesday to Saturday. You can go in that day. I meant that any of those five days and you can use, and I'll have the dates. I'll put them down in the description box. I got to look at my calendar. So if you donate next week from the 7th to the following Sunday, which I'm going to give you all those dates. I think it's like the 12th. Um, I mean, Saturday, you will get a coupon. They'll give you the coupon. Then you come back that Tuesday through Saturday and you use that coupon on your entire purchase, anything you want in their store. And that is for the, um, the um, Park and K Park um, Parker and K store over there in Plano, Parker and K is right there next to the ninety nine cent store. Okay, now I gotta move this faster. I just wanted to explain about the sale tags. Now I'm just gonna keep moving on. Okay, so after Thrift Giant and Grace Bridge, my next one is I y'all hear me talk about the treasure chest. I love the treasure chest. The treasure chest is every every other weekend so it's no it's the first and third weekend that's what it is the first and third and it's thursday friday and saturday thursdays everything is a dollar friday everything is 50 cent saturday everything is a quarter and then they have you come back and do the bag sale where you can fill up a bag or a tote for a certain price and it's very like two dollars and three dollars or something like that they also run specials where sometimes they'll just have like four glasses or four vases for a dollar or four plates for a dollar or four bags you know like um tote bags and stuff that sometimes they'll have that they have now added a back room where everything starts off at two dollars on friday on thursdays and then it gradually goes down and i mean it's, it's a little more of an upscale piece you know a couple pieces i've gotten a kate spade back there bag there but it's you know it's clothes and stuff back there designer stuff i, I really haven't found it in that interesting other than that kate spade bag so i can't swear by that but they have recently opened that back room but i'm gonna tell you i get those little jewelry bags I get all kinds of stuff. You know, a couple pieces of jewelry is in each bag. I get that from there. I love I love them. And they are an outreach program too. Now, I'm going to talk about their other store, the AOC. That's where they get their stuff from. The AOC and Allen, I don't like them. I don't like the personalities of the people. I, I swear by I will never go there again. So I don't go to their main store. I don't like it. It is a good, and I must say, and I, like I said, I'm going to be fair by this. They, they are an outreach program, and they help people in the community. I appreciate that. 
their attitude suck. The manager is horrible. So I will not go there, me, myself, but I won't tell you not to go. Like, I'm not saying, oh, you don't want to ever go there. No, it's just me personal. It was a personal situation with me. And I will never go back there because I don't like it. So I wait for it to go on clearance and I'll go down to the treasure chest and then I'll get what they have there. So now I talked about that because I didn't want to talk about the treasure chest without actually explaining that they are a an outreach program and they help the community. They're really good at it. They're well known for it. Okay, then my next one is Family Thrift Outlet. Family Thrift Outlet, y'all hear me talk about that. I call it the outlet. It's one on K Avenue in Plano, and I think it's one in Arlington. I think it's Arlington. I don't think it's Fort Worth. It's Arlington. Um, they have two outlets, and you everything on Tuesday, um, Thursday starts at $2, Friday $1.75, Saturday $1.50, Sunday $1.25, Monday a dollar, Tuesday 50 cent, and Wednesday during the morning hours, because they close at about 11 30, 12, from, they open at seven, everything will be a quarter. Anything in the store, a washer, I've seen a washer and dryer sell for 50 cent. I've seen um, van, a vanity, a nice vanity with the bench sell for a dollar. It was, on, if somebody got it, the first, I mean for two dollars, they got it the first day. So I've seen big things, and they and they sell carry some housewares. It looks like they're trying to start to knock down housewares a little bit, because I don't haven't seen much, and I've been there recently. But you get all kind of clothes, different designers, not designers, just really nice stuff. If you're looking to, you're going back to work, or you know, you need a new wardrobe for the season, go there with twenty dollars and come out with a whole wardrobe. I promise you, nice stuff. Okay, so then. Um, now, I, their other store is in my here too, but you'll hear about it. Now, the Goodwill in Frisco, only Frisco, it's a new one. They just recently built it. It was actually built from the ground up. I like them. They have old-fashioned um, Goodwill prices, the old Goodwill prices, you know. They don't have them crazy prices, $2 for Dollar Tree plates. Their plate, their stuff is the same way it used to be. You know what I mean? So I do like them, and I have found some really nice pieces out of there. Um, it's still Goodwill, so you still might see some craziness. I've never brought clothes from Goodwill in the DFW, so I, I can't speak on the clothes. Um, but I do buy a lot of housewares. I buy bags and stuff like that. So I, I like that Goodwill more so than I like any of the other ones in this area. Now, St. Vincent's. This is my number five was a split. St. Vincent's in Plano and in Dallas. I love them. They are excellent. It's another community outreach um, program. And all of their stuff is donated by the church, you know, people from the church and or people in the community. You're welcome to go donate. They have trucks. They will pick up stuff if you have furniture that you want to donate. Um, I love St. Vincent's. St. Vincent's has 40% um, off. They have a, a scale too. You can Google them, Plano, and because I didn't have that prepared here, but Plano in Dallas. You can um, Google them and see every day something else is on sale, right? But then if you are subscribed to their app on a Friday night, you'll be sitting there minding your business, talking about you ain't thrifting, and all of a sudden St. Vincent's pops in. Hey, come in and get 40% off your entire order. Why would they do that to this girl? Y'all know I got issues. So always, I'm always running out there, right? And last week, I got a MCM um, dining room table, center leaf, gorgeous, for $15. They had 50, and most of the time, they have 50 to 75% off their furniture. So that's a good place. Another place, they have really nice furniture pieces that you could get for cheap. So check both stores. Um, Plano is on Central Expressway, right over there where the Burlington Coat Factory and that little hobby store. Um, all of that is over there. You might want to check them out. It's on Central Expressway and at between Park and Spring Creek on Central Expressway. Um, and the one in Dallas is on Northwest Highway right across from the uh, Northwest Highway, West Northwest Highway, um, Thrift Giant. So they're really good. I love them. Now, my worst. And I'm going to give just a small um, little description of why. It's called a place called on K Avenue Thrift Store. They're crazy. They have no idea what life is really about. Their prices are horrible. It has a very bad smell of mold. And I just stopped going there. Like, I, I just completely stopped going there. My preference, again, my personal preference. And I'm telling you what, you know, I've found um, that I don't like. 
Um, and there's another one that's right over there, right near there. It's called Hope's Closet or something. I don't, they're, they're like a, they call themselves a boutique, but it's a thrift store. And they're charging like as if you was going to a boutique. I've seen a dress in there for $79. Girl, buy. It, and it wasn't even nothing. You know what I mean? Nope. So I went there once. Didn't like it. Their jewelry for a faded out bracelet, they wanted $6.99 for what? I get a bag for $8.99 from Thrift Giant. Like, come on. So I just don't like their prices. Those two, that Hope's Closet and um, it's called Thrift Store. That's all it's called, Thrift Store. It's on K Avenue. It's a block down from the outlet, the Family Thrift Outlet. One block down. It's over there where the Family Dollar and all of that is. I'm not fond of it. Fond of it. If you guys, you know, in this area, in the DFW area, want to try it for yourself, you know, let me know how you like it. If it's changed any, because I just don't go over there anymore. Um, then Family Thrift Store. I don't like it. I won't go there because you can go to the outlet and get the stuff because they're pride. Now, I did get a, um, a, chi a set of China, but I paid for it from there. And that's what I'm saying. Like, they, they don't have the best prices. They have one tag that might go, they say is on sale, that they mark stuff down. But if, it's, if they didn't mark it down with their pen, even though it's the color tag, they'll say no. It ain't, we didn't mark it down. But you're, you're saying your tag is pink. And I got a pink tag and there's no writing on it. You ain't marked it down yet. No, it's not on sale. Yeah, well, here's the thing. It's no big thing. I just don't go over there often. I go over there maybe once a year. Their prices are very high. Now, the outlet over there on K Avenue used to be a regular one. And their prices marked down regularly. And they were reasonable with their prices. I, that was my favorite thrift store. Before they went to the outlet. And I, it's still one of my favorites when it's the outlet. Okay, then Thrift World. I can't stand them. They're, it's junk. In my opinion, Thrift World, in my opinion, is one of the worst. And the employees are 60% why. Like, y'all, it's a lot more I could go into, but I won't. I'm just saying, that's not my store, and I have recently swore them off. I won't be going back to Thrift, thrift World. They could give me stuff. I wouldn't go get it. I just don't like it. I won't support it. It's supposed to be, I will say on their half, it's supposed to be either liver or kidney foundation. They... Um, support and here's the thing what I found out you could get five percent and say you support something and be a thrift store I don't know what percent they do. I don't know how they help out But um, they they do have some type of charity connected to their name. So I will say that um, And so but the one now I love thrift world when it was in Louisville. That was my favorite one I would go there religiously the employees were nice you know everything was you know you go in there and they didn't treat you like trash you know they were really nice and um you know not that they were friend friendly not that you wanted them to be your friend but just smile and be pleasant you know i'm in here shopping well they burnt down a couple months ago this one here i can't i go in there all the time i can never find anything to buy it's a mess it's not it's not what it used to i see them on their way out the door Thrift Giant has taken this place by storm. Thrift Giant has expanded recently, and they are taking over the world <laughs> in DFW. The world in DFW. Okay, I must say that. Thrift Giant, hands down. Grace Bridge is running a quick second because they're getting ready to open up another store. They are starting to expand all around here. Y'all are going to know their name. Grace Bridge, and like I said, their outreach reaches way further than the DFW, reach uh, across the oceans into so, like I said they're big into helping out with Africa with the water and with helping people there and education I mean, and what I like is if you go to their store you'll see pictures of them and you know when they're out doing this this stuff but most of their employees are from the church or their children from the church they get credits for um I believe for school for doing like the um community and or the resumes i think for college but you see a lot of young kids in there volunteering because they get the credits for their i guess college resumes or whatever um for volunteering with them and um doing all kind of volunteer work with them i do like that i like that a lot anyway now like i said thrift world not liking texas thrift i don't like because their prices are crazy however thrift giant is extremely not thrift giant texas thrift is very big they have a few too they have them irving i know they have one in irving i think they have and i know they have one in um garland they have a couple you can google thrift uh texas thrift i've gotten some good pieces out of there and it's rare i do still stop through every now and then but it's not my favorite you know what i mean i stop through maybe once or twice a month maybe i mean once every other month 
um, to see what they, they're looking like. I don't like their jewelry. It's junk. They only give their jewelry jars. I used to, in the beginning, that's where I got my very first jewelry jar from, Texas Thrift. I just don't like them anymore um, because I just can't find anything. The price is like, I would never pay the prices that they ask. And their sale, they have um, a 99 cent tag on Monday. And then that tag will turn into 50% off. I mean, the 50% off tag turns into the 99 cent tag. Then it's gone. It goes back to regular price. But then that next week, the 50% off tag turns into, and they have a 35% off tag. So every day you'll see a 50% off color, but it's the same. It lasts for a week. It's the, um, then you'll see a 35% um, off. But that 50% off will turn into the 99 cent tag on Monday. So that's how, you know, it's like, it's, when by the time you get to the 99 cent tag, it's gone. Like they, it's been all week and you know, it's not really much there. I don't find, I used to find a lot on the 99 cent tag, but I haven't lately. I haven't found anything. Okay. So that's Texas thrift. But like I said, domestic violence, they're big into it. They help, they have shelters, they do everything. Like I, I like them for that. So I still try to go there so I can at least spend some money with them. Uh, it's been hard. But I've been doing something with them because I love their I love their um, charity that they deal with. Okay, Thrift City, I don't know of them dealing with a charity. Not saying that they don't. I don't like them. Their prices are crazy. They do not have discounts on housewares. They have a 50% off tag. Sometimes I've seen it twice. But even when they have their everything 50% off, housewares isn't included. That I just don't like. I don't think that, I just don't understand. Like that, you know, I shop mostly for housewares. I don't really shop for clothes. So those stores, now, when I say I don't like it, it's because it doesn't really help me. It doesn't benefit me sale-wise, you know, because I buy housewares. They have clothes in there. I've never really looked through their clothes, you know, so I don't know what they look like or how they are. But yeah, that's basically it with, and now there's more stores around. There's, um, that one, the last one I was talking about, Thrift City, they have several. You can Google them. One is in, um, Garland on Beltline. Um, then there's another one in Dallas. One in Louisville. There's one, there's a Thrift Town. I've been there several times. Like, it's not, nothing that pulled me back there. You know, that one, I think it's a Thrift Town on uh, Gus Thompson Road. The Thrift City in Louisville is on Main Street. It's right past where the old Thrift World used to be. Um, and then there's a couple other stores around, um, Salvation Army. I, f I go there every now and then. I haven't been there in a while. And then I went maybe about a month ago. I hadn't been there in almost a year. And then I went about a month ago. And, um, again, they don't put their housewares on there. They have friends. And now, you know, Salvation Army has always been a ray of hope through every community. I love them for their charity. So I do still go back, but the housewares, they only have the, they have a tag all week long for their whatever their tag is and that's the only color you're going to find on sale until it switches even on the wednesdays friends and family when everything's 50 percent off not housewares again not my favorite but because salvation army isn't uh like a ray like i said a ray of hope through the neighborhood everybody goes to salvation army for help um, you know, who's in need of help, not everybody, but people who are in need of help. So I like to donate to them. I will donate more to them than I will buy from them. So Salvation Army is norm normally one of my favorites to donate to. I, re I, thrift I donate to Thrift Giant and, um, Peace, I mean, Grace Bridge. I always call Grace Bridge Peace, Peace Bridge. Grace Bridge, um, I will, they will be my number one that I'm going to start donating to. Because this week, like I said, if you donate three Bags of clothing, you get the 50% off. So that's Monday through Saturday. If you go to K Avenue, K and Par Parker, right there at, um, in Plano, you donate three bags of clothing. Don't just dump them in that thing that's out front. You got to go in and donate them so they can give you the ticket. And then that ticket will be your 50% off the following week. And that 50% that off will exclude that 99 cent day. So it won't be for Monday, but it'll be every other day. So, um... Yeah, that's basically it, guys. I just wanted to explain, like I said, the tag sales. You will be able to see how that color, pay attention to your stores, you'll be able to see how the color moves over and when you could get it on the right day. 
You know what I mean? So um, look for your outlets. The Goodwill outlet bins. I really don't go to one here because it's so far. But I do like it. I do like it. Especially for, that's for somebody more so that's a reseller. Or if you just, you know, just want to go just to see what you could get out of curiosity, then you go there. And um, here is $1.39 um, a pound. And I think it's in Arlington or either... I don't think it's Fort Worth, but Arlington, Fort Worth. It's like kissing right there. They're, it's, not, it's right close to the outlet, the family thrift outlet. Not far. You could get there quick from there. So Google that if you're interested in the, um, that's where our Goodwill um, bins is over there. So Google it, Goodwill outlet, Goodwill outlet, I think, and that's when it comes up. And then Goodwill also has boutiques. We have a Goodwill boutique around the corner on Custer here in Plano. Where is that Allen? Might be Allen. Yeah, because the next street over from me, that's Allen. So I think, um, yeah, so you might want to check that. It might be Allen or either Plano, that Goodwill Boutique that's over there. The prices are higher, and that's about it. Same thing, you see, though. I haven't seen anything extravagant. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. I hope, if you guys have any questions, because I probably was all over the place trying to cover every store. Tried to cover the charities. I tried to cover the sales tags, what I liked and what I didn't. But again, I want you to judge for yourself. Check out the stores. It's nothing like thrifting. I tell you, especially nothing like thrifting in Texas. But I don't care where you live. If you learn those sale tags. And I know in, in, in uh, Georgia, they have the outlets too, y'all. I forget the Park Avenue outlets i think it's called park avenue outlets or something like that park something because i found it when i was in atlanta with my friend lane so they do have the outlets and they're basically very similar the pricing is a little bit higher there but it's similar to the family thrift outlet but yeah so anyway don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments let me know you know if you figured out your pricing list where you live um if this helped you, if it didn't, or if you like any of the other stores that I like or dislike, let me know. Just chit chat. Y'all know how I do. All right, guys. This went a little longer than I wanted. And I was trying to talk fast. So excuse me because I wanted to get this in. I know it's a lot to get in. But I appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.